35 year old Michael Kelly from Temple recently had four seizures in just two days. Earlier this month, we first told you about Michael in his fight with Kiari malformation. News 10's Alex Fulton caught up with the Kelly family who's still waiting on a cure for the condition. Another road for the other one to go through. A long road ahead for five year old Michael Kelly. When they go out, they can go whoop. He's battling Chiari malformation and his family remains with him every step of the way. So the Chiari malformation is where his brain sits too low in his spinal cord or too low in his skull and it puts pressure on his spinal cord. Michael's mom, Sherry Kelly, says the condition causes seizures. In the past few weeks, he's gone from having absent seizures to convulsive seizures. His right leg will kind of twitch and convulse. Uh, they're more... He curls up more yeah. violent, more aggressive than what we were seeing before. During all of this, family friend Melissa Baddock set up a GoFundMe to help pay for the medical bills. You know, as a parent, it just breaks your heart when you hear something happening to a uh, child. An adult is one thing, but when it's a child, it just breaks you. Now Baddock and some friends are planning a benefit event where they'll sell barbecue plates and auction off different items. This isn't a condition where it's just going to be fixed over, you know, a month or two months. They're going to be dealing with these medical bills for a long time. It's a waiting game for the Kelly family as Michael's doctors continue to try and find the right medicines that work for him. Everybody's brain works so different. It's what, what what could work for one person could be completely different for the next person. The Kellys are longing for the Michael from before his December diagnosis. We see spurts of our Michael, but... We're anxious to get our kid back. We, we want our kid back. In Temple, Alex Fulton, KWTX News 10. The benefit organizers aim to host their event sometime in April or May at the VFW Post in Belton. In the meantime, they are looking for people to donate auction and food items. You can find some ways to pitch in over on our website.